So you're interested in pursuing a career in data analytics. I mean, it is really no surprise with such a high demand and some crazy salaries. It makes sense. Hi, my name is Rohan and I currently work in the data industry. I've been working for the past three years and I have a master's degree in analytics. So my story is a bit unique. I actually never knew I wanted to go into data growing up and even in college up until my fourth year. So I actually studied uh, business in undergrad and I took it, had a finance internship and was a bit shaky on is this what I wanted to do for the next 30, 40 years of my life. And I actually took a data science class my fourth year and instantly knew this is what I wanted to do in my career. I actually talked to this professor after and was able to do research under him. And this is honestly when I started to learn more than ever before and I really fell in love with this space. Most people on YouTube actually talk about the reasons to go into data analytics and data science, but in this video, I'm gonna talk about the top five reasons why you should not go into data analysts and data science. So the first reason is you will have to learn constantly. If you do not like learning, this is not the field for you. And what I mean by this is every company has a different data table. Every company has different industry experience. Every company has their own quirks. So oftentimes mastering the technical skills is not enough. You have to be a master in the domain as well, and that takes six months to a year, maybe even longer to learn depending on what industry you're in. Some companies will also have different expectations for the role. Not every company has data science, data analytics as the same exact role day to day. Some companies will be doing more dashboarding, visualization, with other companies making you do more machine learning or algorithms, or even just data analysis with SQL. It's really a mixed bag. Every company is different and will have a different set of requirements, and every day on the job is really new. So my personal experience, I started off um, during my master's program working in data. Um, this is just to get experience while in school. And I was actually in the education space. So you can imagine the data I was playing around with there and the analytic toolkit I needed there was totally different when I jumped back into finance. And I had to learn more about the financial services industry. What does NAV mean? What does the implication of NAV mean? What are interest rates? And you really have to learn the domain to be able to apply your data skill set. Now I work in technology and the industry is totally different and I have to learn again. So if you do not like learning, this is not the job for you. Tools are also constantly evolving. And what I mean by this, a dashboarding tool that was used three years ago may not be used now. A data tool that was used three years ago may not be used now. And these packages itself, like in Pandas, in Python, may be adding new functionality, new features. And it's really up to you to stay up to date with this by going to conference events, learning a YouTube, learning from YouTube like you're doing right now. Thank you, by the way. So it's really important to stay updated on the current events, where trends are going, and figure out what the new technologies are to learn. The second reason to not go into data analytics is if you do not like communicating. Communicating is so important in this role. There have been so many times where I have been tasked to communicate to non-technical people a very technical piece of analysis, and oftentimes it requires you tailoring your your presentation or your communication skills to match who you're presenting to and that itself is a skill. I know it's more on the soft skill ends but oftentimes people mistake that data analytics is all hard technical skills but really you need to be able to present, you need to be able to picture what your audience knows and tailor the presentation to the stakeholder involved. So early on in my career I actually made a cluster analysis to predict upcoming trends with um, a Google data set. So, so take Google Trends data set and figure out what the next upcoming topics are. And to explain this to some product managers, I couldn't exactly go into how the algorithm works, but more so what it does and how to use the tool. So being able to make that distinction of, are you talking to data scientists, are you talking to product managers, are you talking to executive leadership team? You need to be able to differentiate what each one knows and how to clearly present your findings to make the most impact. So I know this kind of contradicts what I just said, but you also need to be really comfortable working alone. There have been times where I've been working for, I kid you not, a few days straight without talking to anyone about my work and presenting my findings. And this is totally normal. You need to be able to like being heads down in the data and the weeds of things and being curious, being analytical. Why is this the way it is? Is this even normal? And this is hard for some people. I know some of my friends are very extroverted and they like to talk to other people. They like to present their findings. And it can be difficult for people to actually adapt to this. I myself, time flies when I'm working with data and I'm constantly asking myself questions and writing it down and then presenting it after. But this is not for everyone. The third reason why you shouldn't become a data analyst is you need to think analytically. And I know a lot of people are like, what does thinking analytically even mean? It means taking a problem down piece by piece and figuring out why is something the way it is. And I wanna preface this by saying anyone can think analytically. I've 
strongly believe this is a learned skill and really anyone who's interested can, can change their mindset intentionally by practicing steps day by day. So let's go over an example. During college, I actually started an e-commerce store using a Shopify website. And I constantly try to understand what is my target customer and when do they buy, what creatives actually drive sales. And this is not an easy problem to solve if you don't have any data analytics skills. So what I did was I exported all the data. Um, in this case, I took my advertising, the creative I used, the time I posted, the accounts I posted. I, I'd run an A-B test, keeping all other variables constant, change one variable, and see what drove the most sales. So when you isolate variable by variable, you can figure out what works and what doesn't work over a large amount of time. So using this, I was able to optimize my store and make a profit, but you have to understand that trends change over time and this is a continuous process. It is not normally just a one-off and make a dashboard. You need to constantly be evaluating what's going on in the market and constantly doing your own data analysts. So I realize this is a very simple example and I'm sure in your own work, there will be much more complex examples where you can practice your skills. The last reason I wanna go over is you will fail a lot. And I know that's hard to hear. And I know some people don't have the mindset to actually fail. It, it, is, it is hard. I've been in this position so many times where I've wanted to quit, I've self-doubted, is this the right career path for me? But the important thing is in the long run, you stick to it. You are going to fail, but I promise you, you will come out of this a better data analyst and you will love yourself for it. And I can honestly say, I have failed more than anyone else, but what I will say will help me the most is joining a community. I have a community of friends who are all in this data space and we all fail every single day. And the learning process actually speeds up. When you're with the community, the people that all fail with you, you can learn from their mistakes as well and apply them to your own life. So I strongly encourage you to join a community, talk to people in this space, network, reach out to people on LinkedIn and figure out what they like, what they don't like, and some failures. You can actually expedite what you do and do better at your job by learning from other people's mistakes. But I can promise you one thing. The more mistakes you make, the better you will be at this field or really anything in life. So please go at it, do not give up, and try it. So I do realize going and becoming a data analyst is expensive in terms of time and money, and it is a difficult decision to decide if you wanna go into this. So I hope this video will help you make a informed decision of whether you wanna go into data analyst. I know it is a large investment in terms of time and money, but I personally think it's worth it. It's up to you to make the decision whether it's worth it for you. If you got this far in the video, thank you so much. Please leave a like and subscribe. Good luck.